I'm going to you know, highlight how important China is to IBM and how important China is to IBM strategy overall as far as the world and energy, right? Where can we add value? Where can we stay ahead of them in terms of, you know, do we basically have... On April 28th, the brightest business school students from Kellogg, Sloan, Wharton, and Yale met to compete in a strategic war game about the future of China's smart grid. Tie that into what China's drivers are. So China has presented a great opportunity for international companies to help build what promises to become one of the greatest infrastructure projects ever conceived. So it's not going to adopt a foreign solution. The I'm Chinese sure. government has set long-term energy and power distribution goals for itself that it intends to meet, but it needs the technology to accomplish these ambitious goals. We're talking specifically about smart meters. And as the you question may not be which energy company, energy. Cisco, GE, Energy, IBM, or Siemens, can succeed, but rather which company can develop the best long-term strategy with respect to both its competition and China itself. It's about big blue building a smarter planet. Please Not join Fold and Company for a day of discovery. Watch how these companies may express their strategy for one of the greatest business opportunities or gambits of all time. We heard that HP was combining with Huawei. Wargame is a, an ability to stress test strategies among uh, companies that are in the same market or competing for the same market. We take um, a group of people from a company, divide them up into teams of five, six, seven, eight people, and give each team the assignment of thinking like its competitors. And one team thinks like the company itself, and then you bring everybody back together and see what you have learned about what competitors are likely to do and what you should do in response to that. In this intensive, almost like a pressure cooker environment, a lot of creativity just came out from a lot of interaction, and that end result is extremely satisfying. Companies want to do war games because often they are under some pressure themselves. The market is changing, perhaps competitors have merged, new entrants have come into the marketplace. The rules have changed and they don't know which path to go down. Should they be spending more money uh, in promoting and marketing? Should they be acquiring themselves? Should they be changing the distribution or channeling strategy? All these are questions that happen when the rules change. If you're going in with China as a partner, you're sharing that risk. We wanted to find a topic that was lively, uh, that was cutting edge, and that we knew that there was an intense interest in, in terms of both uh, China and also the foreign business community. And this one lent itself very well to that kind of uh, approach. Did any of you engage in any negotiations with the other groups? For me, it's really about the team. Really, um, before this, none of us really had worked together, all ten of us, and this is a particular event that brought us together, and we saw each person's dream just came out and shine, and I'm very impressed with everyone. I think when you're talking about the smart grid... The real value of a war game is the bottom line. And the war game, if it's done correctly, is going to tell you how to harbor the resources you've got, how to spend them wisely, how to deploy the manpower in a certain way, how to make certain visions uh, come to pass that you may have for your company, certain futures and strategies. So this forces you to look at the details. Business is all about details, therefore allowing you to move ahead with more certainty than you had before and likely to improve that bottom line. Uh, that it was a lot of fun. Uh, everyone got, got into it. Um, great to see the other teams and see uh, the different approaches that each team had. It was just a great opportunity.